In this video we're going to look at using JSON data in Node-RED. Now the video actually relates to a question um, published on the JSON data over MQT uh, video. And this is the question here. Suppose I send JSON data relating to GPS and this is the format of the JSON data and the other MQTT subscribed to this content, can you illustrate this? And basically the question was um, what do we do with the uh, JSON payload? So what I've set up here is I'm using a, a simple Python script and I'm sending some JSON data and it's uh, latitude and longitude and a timestamp just like requested in the in the question and you can see here this is the JSON data so I just run the Python script and it sends me some sample data and then we're going to process that in Node-RED. So this is the flow I created now this is um, an MQTT subscribe and I'm subscribing to this topic and that's the same topic that my Python script is going to publish the data on and I'm going to output it to uh, text box and we can display that in the user interface and you can see it here and there it is there that's the raw data so that will be the JSON data as it comes in and then I'm going to format the data and we can display it like this so we take the data that comes in we pass it into the JSON node this is one of those nodes here where I just drag and, and drop it in here and then I, out of the JSON node I pass it into a function now the function basically is responsible for processing the data and then we send it out the data out into these three text boxes which are grouped together on the you know, user interface and you can see here they they're grouped under the position under the posi position group and there are the three objects there and let's just show you the user interface again there it is position and the three text boxes here Okay, so let's start it off and, and send some data to it and I'll show you what happens and then we go back and we'll look at it. So I'm going to start this Python script. Start sending the data. And this, this, this should start changing in a minute. And you can see it's changing now. Okay, so this node here takes the raw JSON data that comes in and it actually converts it into a JavaScript object. Now, when it comes into this node here, it looks like it looks like this. And then this converts it into a, a JSON object, which is passed into here. Before we look at the function, I just want to show you what the data looks like when it comes out of the JSON node. So I'm just going to wire this into a debug node and I'm going to create another debug node. This time I'm going to just display the message, message payload, or let's wire that in. So I just want to see the entire message object and then I want to see the payload as well. So let's deploy it and we send some data into it. So here's the data. I just want to stop the script quickly. So, so here's what the message object looks like. We've got the topic, we've got the payload, and it says the payload's an object, and then we've got the quality of service retain flag, and the message ID is a standard message payload. And if we open up the payload, which is here, we can see the payload contains the latitude, the time, and the longitude just like I showed you in the beginning well, on the PowerPoint slide. So now what we're going to do is we're going to process this payload. We're going to, we're going to extract these values out of the payload. And for that we need the function. So let's go now and have a look at the function. Now this is the function here. To make it easier to show you the various bits of it, I'm going to copy this out into Notepad Plus and we'll look at it in Notepad Plus. Now the important thing to understand about the functions is what comes in is a message object and what goes out is a message object. In our case, um, we've actually got three outputs, so we're actually sending three message objects out. So we've got to construct three message objects. And you can see right at the end we've got a return 
and we've got three objects time latitude and longitude and these are message objects so we'll construct them as message objects so let's have a look at the script in notepad so here's the script the first thing we do is we extract the time from the the message payload you can see it here and all this bit of the script here is formatting the time and you, you see it in the display and I'll show you again to remind you what it looks like when we formatted it so we finish up with a formatted time at the at the end uh, I'm not going to go through that part of it and at the bottom we do the same with the latitude and longitude and we take the longitude from the payload message payload we convert it to a string and then we make it a bit shorter we slice it because it had a lot of digits after the floating point without that and we encapsulate that into a message object you can see here the object it's an object here and it's the payload part of the object so we don't send a topic we don't send a retain flag all we have is a payload and we do exactly the same with the latitude there it is there payload and we can see here we got the latitude to string slice it exactly the same as the longitude and then we place all three in an array and we return it so and you remember the function node has got three outputs and that's it very very simple so when this function returns it returns a time to this text box the long latitude to this text box and the longitude to this text box and I say they're grouped together and they're grouped together under the position latitude longitude and time and if we go back to the user interface and you can see them there position latitude longitude and time and remember I said about a lot of the script being uh, formatting for the time this is what the time looks like when we've finished formatting it so okay that's the end of the video uh, I hope it answered the question it was supposed to answer uh, if you've got any comments on the video then leave them below if you like the video then use the like button below and if you want to get notified of new videos on the channel then you can always subscribe until next time goodbye